Hi everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome to my live. This is just a quick check-in. I've just finished doing some private readings. So I thought I'd jump on and do a little quick check-in here on TikTok. Hope everyone's doing okay. As you know, the usual. Pop your name and your question in the comments. I'll see who I'm drawn to and get you a reading. Hi Sue, how you doing my lovely? If you've got a question for me, pop your name and your question in the comments and I'll see if I'm drawn to you. I'll get you a little reading. I am opening or have recently opened my live private, getting all my words muddled, open my private readings again. So if you want to book a private reading, head on over to my bio <coughs> and you'll get a link to my linked tree account <clears throat> where you can click on to how to book a reading. Sue, love. Okay, so you want a love reading? Let's see what your love reading is all about. What does Sue have in her love life to focus on right now? Ooh, three of wands. I feel like you've been waiting for something to happen in your love life. Three of wands is about waiting. It's about focusing and thinking about your future. Because I feel like perhaps you've been going through some cycles, some ups and downs with someone. Maybe someone's been hot, blowing hot and cold and you don't know where you stand with them. And you just want to, you just want to know where you stand. But it's time for you to ask the question if you have a question for them. And step into the, the next chapter, the next level of your love life so that you can make things happen. I feel like you've been single for some time or if you're not single you're very independent this is really nice energy for you sue this is you embracing your independence not needing anyone to fill a void or fill a gap i feel like you've been waiting for the right person and i feel like you've been manifesting a certain situation or type of person and i feel like you're quite happy to wait for that person to come along i don't feel like you're in a rush you're trying to rush things to happen which is really nice good to see king of pentacles and i do feel like your hard work and effort and patience will pay off sue because that king of pentacles there is very much about having someone who is comfortable financially emotionally somebody quite mature okay oh i love that to anyone struggling remember broken crayon still color that's lovely. Stay strong and talk. Hi to everyone just joining. Just pop your name and your question in the comments. I'll see who I'm drawn to. Thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing the live. Double tap that screen as well. Let me know that any of these readings are resonating with you. Sienna is acting the right job for me. Okay, let's change these cards. I'm not feeling these cards is acting the right job for sienna okay lovely name by the way very much an acting name very uh, theatrical sienna lovely is acting the right job for sienna let's find out Okay, I feel like you've been working hard on your acting career and I feel like you're very focused and I feel like there is potential there with that Seven of Pentacles because the Seven of Pentacles is planting the seeds. It's reflecting on where you've been, um, what you've learned so far and what you're going to do next. So I do feel like acting has got a huge potential for you because I do feel like you've, you've put the legwork in, you put the groundwork in, you've put the blood, sweat and tears into this for sure. King of Swords. Now acting requires a lot of emotional um, 
drawing on your emotional experiences and emotional feelings. And I feel like you need to use those a lot more because that King of Swords there makes me feel like sometimes you hold back a little. And I feel like the King of, the King of Swords is saying it's important to be rational and realistic. But draw upon your emotions to really enhance your acting skills. So one last card for you. Two of Swords, you're, you're doubting yourself for some reason. And I think that perhaps you've had some knockbacks. Maybe your confidence has been knocked because perhaps you've applied or auditioned for some acting roles and they haven't come to fruition. But think long and hard about what types of roles you want to be cast in. Because I feel like you've been going for the wrong types of roles. Now, while some actors and actresses can um, adapt and be chameleons and pretty much do any acting job, that doesn't just happen overnight. Some people are gifted, but I feel like there's a certain niche, a certain type of acting skill that you have that you need to harness and audition for with those uh, with those skills. And I do feel like you will. You will get this. I just feel like you're still working on your niche, on your style. Okay, so there's a load of cards just dropped out of the deck here. Queen of Pentacles. You will make money from this. Very soon, I feel like when you think about what niche, what character, what type of acting um, you want to do because I do feel like you're in conflict right now it's almost like you've been um, auditioning for roles that you know you, you're not comfortable in or you feel like you're not right for but the right role is coming for you because you've got the 10 of cups so yeah keep pursuing it okay you don't have to do it as a full-time job either you can do it as a part-time job you know you can flex you can adapt if the right contract comes along and it's a long-term contract then yeah you know go for it but just think about what types of roles uh, you want to play. Okay, my lovely. So I hope that helps you. It feels quite grounded. It feels quite stable. It doesn't feel like there's going to be this uh, overnight fame kind of success. But I feel like you've got a long-term, uh, slow-burning, slow-growth process um, to go through uh, for your success, which will be long-term if that's what you want. you just got to, with that seven of pentacles just really think long and hard about what niche what kind of roles you you feel um you could do and do well and make money from it definitely so go for it hi to everyone just joining my live welcome all you need to do is pop your name and a question in the comments double tap that screen for me don't forget to follow me here on tiktok as well because this is where i go live I'm also over on YouTube and Instagram, so head on over there. And I've recently opened my private readings again. So if you want to book a private reading, head on over to my website. Link is in my bio. Samira, is Azima planning on coming forward? Is Azima planning on coming forward? Let's find out. Is um, Azima planning on coming forward? Hmm, thinking about it. I feel like uh, they're talking about it. But they're holding back. They're still thinking about it and talking about it to their friends or a friend. Are they holding back? This Azima is, is holding back. Why is Azima holding back? <clears throat> holding back no I don't feel like this Azima is going to be in any rush to come forward to you I'm afraid because I feel like there's a lot of things going on in their in their in their life right now maybe they need some counseling or they've got a, a mentor or a guide or someone who can help them through some challenging situations there's something they're going through that they're holding back not because of anything to do with you, but because of something they've got going on or had going on in their life. And the hanged man is at the base of the deck for you as well. This is them needing to let go of something that is holding them back. So I don't feel like they're going to come forward to you quite yet because they've got a lot to work through. So just 
allow yourself to focus on you and move on or move forward yourself um, with your own life. Let's get you a couple of cards to focus on what you need to do. So what does Samira need to do? What does Samira need to focus on right now? A new love. Something new, someone new is coming into you. That's going to pull you out of this waiting for this person to come forward. And you're going to have a lot of reasons to celebrate. So I feel like there's a bit of a wake up call for you with that judgment card. And it's going to propel you forward into something new, something exciting. That is going to make you feel amazing, alive, confident and a reason to celebrate again. So that's really lovely energy. I hope it helps you, my lovely. Good luck with that. Sending you lots of love, light and positivity. Michaela, came across you an FYP. Anything for me? Let's get you a general reading, Michaela. Thank you for being here. General reading for Michaela, please. Michaela, let's take a look at your recent challenge, focus and advice and guidance from Spirit. So your recent challenge... I don't know if you've been feeling a bit challenged at home with your finances. There's been something here that is out of balance. Money, something material, your home, your finances are definitely out of balance. So let's take a look what your focus is to help you through this challenging situation. Money. <laughs> okay. I feel like there's potential there for you. The Ten of Cups is the ultimate, you know, having all the money you need. So perhaps you need to focus and work hard on your, your spending habits, okay? Your spending habits, I feel, have been a challenge. So what's your focus, my lovely? Three of pentacles, another pentacles. Money's definitely coming through here as a situation where if you're getting offered um, something that's going to help you financially, then I feel like you need to take the offer of help. Don't be too proud to take it. Pride comes before a fall. So just take the help that's being offered to you. And it's going to help you to rebalance and regain your financial strength for sure. Okay, so I do feel like there is some help coming to you. Three of Pentacles is sometimes as well the apprenticeship card. So if you've been working on a course or working towards promotion or working towards improving your financial health, it's there for you. It's there. There's been something huge uh, a huge change that's affected you financially. But there is someone, I feel, who's going to offer you some help to get through this. And you need to accept that help because I feel like there's been a lot of heavy burdens, um, a lot of weight on your shoulders, because there's a lot of responsibility around you that you need to accept the help. Okay, my lovely? So I hope that helps you. Sending you lots of love, light and positivity. Amelia, does Jay want to tell you something? Let's find out. Does Jay want to tell Amelia something? Does Jay want to tell Amelia something? Yeah, but I feel that uh, Jay's been a little bit reckless or whatever Jay wants to tell you. He's thinking about or she is thinking about how they're going to say it because there's something I feel that's going to be bleh, quite um, cutting and I feel like the Eight of Cups there is something that needs to be talked about because I feel like there's something that you need to walk away from towards something that's going to bring a lot more harmony, balance, more emotional fulfillment. So I do feel like Jay wants to tell you something. But Jay knows it's going to cause perhaps uh, a bit of hostility but I feel like they he, Jay will tell you because the Ace of Swords is about truth clarity it's a revelation the truth will come out okay and it's going to bring in a new start for you uh, which is going to bring in a sense of new balance harmony just something that's going to be more grounding and stable so there is something Jay wants to tell you and Jay will tell you in their own time. Do not try and force or push for the news. It will come because you've got the Ace of Swords as well. Thank you so much. You've got the Ace of Swords as well, which is 
clarity, truth. So it, it will come out. Jay will tell you. And, you know, it, it will it will help th move things along for you. But don't push it. If you like spirit is saying, do not push it. Because it will cause an argument. But I don't think it's going to be anything that's going to shock you. I feel like you already know what it is. But that Ace of Pentacles coming in as well is, is just bringing um, a new sense of balance and harmony, which is really nice. So good luck with that, my lovely. Don't push it. Please don't push it. Sending you lots of love, light and positivity, my beautiful soul. Hi to everyone just joining my live. Welcome. Just pop your name and a question in the comments and I'll see who I'm drawn to. There is a lot of you on the live at the moment, so I'll see who is coming through for a message Lindsay is Aaron the one and will he change his mind in the future thank you so that's two questions so let's see is Aaron the one change his mind no my lovely you've got the death card something you need to release this energy because you've got a new love coming Woohoo! love it that energy is toxic, my lovely. Aaron isn't the one. You're moving on from it. You've got somebody new coming in that's going to bring you a lot more happiness and emotional fulfillment. Hope that helps you, my lovely. I'm sorry if it's not the answer that you want, but Spirit will tell you what you need to know, not always what you want to know. But either way, that Death card is bringing in a new beginning and that Ace of Cups, a new love and emotional fulfillment lovely pop your name and a question in the comments and i'll see who i'm drawn to if you're new here welcome don't forget to follow me because i do go live on a regular basis and it is ha ad hoc so i never promise when i'm going to go live if you want to book a private reading with me i have now opened my private readings the link is in my bio just head on over there if this is replaying on my YouTube channel, excuse the mess on my hair. <laughs> um, but the link to my website will be in the description box below. And if you're on TikTok, it's in the in my profile. Okay. So ask a question, don't just make a statement, okay? So if you want to ask a question, make sure it's a question. Your name and a question. Rachel Walker. Rachel, is me and Mark going to work out? Going through a rough patch? Oh, trying for a baby, yeah, that's it's a tough time when you're trying for a baby. Being there, done that. On the t-shirt, and it is, it is hard. You need to work together on it. And if you're going through a rough patch, that's not going to help if you're trying for baby. If you're going through a rough patch because you're trying for baby and it's not happening, please, please, please seek some um, fertility help. Let's see what we've got coming through for you, my lovely. What's coming through for Rachel right now? Queen of Cups. Very maternal. Okay, the Queen of Cups is maternal energy. It's emotional. And I feel like emotions are running on high at the moment. Okay, I feel like you're putting a lot of pressure on yourself and on your relationship. And when you release that pressure, that's when you're going to start to see things happening. Okay, because the Chariot card, it's Cancer which is a water sign, which is the Queen of Cups. She's also a water sign. So I don't know if Cancerian, Cancer Zodiac sign is of relevance to you. But I'm certainly feeling that when you relax and you start putting so much pressure on yourselves, on the relationship, on trying for a baby, and just relax into it, that's when things are going to start moving for you in the right direction, okay? Let's see what else we've got coming through for you. Oh, okay. So that's just flipped <laughs> the other way, which is your wishes fulfilled. Three of cups, a reason to celebrate. Five of pentacles, feeling like, oh, woe is me. It's never going to happen to me. And then that potential 
of the five uh, cups in the window there is, is opportunity potential. King of Wands with the Seven of Wands just feels like this this battle that's going on because you're putting so much pressure on you. But when you release that pressure and you stop being so hard on yourselves, uh, you'll kind of move away from the rough times and move towards uh, a more happier, relaxed time, which is when you're more likely to become pregnant because you're more relaxed and you're more into it. And if the fertility issues continue, I am not a fertility specialist. I don't do fertility readings. But what I can tell you is the energy is very uptight. It's very tense. And I feel like you're being very self-critical, putting a lot of pressure on yourselves. And when you've got that kind of pressure on yourself, you imagine you need to have your, you know, your womb in a hospitable um, environment. Whereas when you're tense and you're uptight and you're arguing, you, you just cause intention and that's that's not going to help. So release the tension, release that pressure on yourselves. And then, you know, you'll start to see the success of that chariot card coming through um, in your favour. And if it doesn't happen naturally, please, please, please get some fertility um, help. Okay, my lovely. Hope that helps you. Sending you a lot of love, light and positivity. Gianna, hi, am I overthinking this situation about my period coming next month? <laughs> if this is a roundabout way of asking for a fertility reading, let's see if you're overthinking. Uh, is Gianna overthinking her situation? Okay, four of cups is your waiting on news of something and it feels like it's not coming. So I feel like there's, there is a lot of thought going in into this energy and it's it's depressing you, it's worrying you, it's making you feel detached, very overwhelming, it's confusing, there's going to be a choice to make and you've got the devil card here as well and it's a little bit toxic. So yes, you're definitely overthinking this situation. So what's your area of focus? What should Gianna focus on right now? to help her through this emotional overwhelm and toxic way of thinking. Queen of Wands, be back in your power. Take back your power. Queen of Wands is very confident. You know, she knows what she wants. She goes after it. She gets it. Very independent, very confident. And you're going to feel a lot better about it. I feel like there's going to be a reason to celebrate. So whatever this is, you're overthinking it. But if you relax again, like I said to the in the last reading, relax, go with the flow and you'll, you've got the death card as well. You'll transform. The death card is very much the metamorphosis, seeing you go through uh, one energy into a new energy, releasing something from the past and having a reason to celebrate and feeling confident again and getting your sense of independence and knowing your worth really really important to concentrate and focus on you and not to overthink the situation but whatever it is you're releasing it when you stop overthinking it, it easier said than done because you know funnily enough I was saying to my husband earlier that I think through my feelings I don't allow myself to feel my feelings I have to know why do I feel this way and how can I compartmentalize things to make it make sense? And I almost feel like you're trying to make sense of what you're thinking about so that you don't feel it. But I feel in your energy at the moment, the feelings are overwhelming rather than you thinking rationally about the situation. So yeah, you're overthinking about this, this situation for sure because there is a reason to celebrate but something has to come to an end. Is that death card first, this transformation, this transition that you need to go through for that celebration to come. But that there is a reason to celebrate at the end of this, whatever that means to you, my lovely, okay? Um, okay, hi to everyone who's just joined. Thank you so much to everyone who is gifting me. I have put a little notice on any gifts, 500 or more, I will prioritise. Um, but yeah, just pop your name, Mimi, will he choose me? Oh my gosh, if he's got to make a choice and he's got to think about it, 
You need to make a choice. Let's see what comes through. Will he choose me, me? Will he choose me, me? No. And if he does, I don't think it's going to work out the way that you want it to because that tower energy there is very much not built on real terms, not built on genuine feelings or genuine reasons. So no, I don't think he will choose you. And if he does, I feel like it won't last and you'll move on very, very quickly. Just set set your expectations, set your standards higher. Nobody should have to choose you. I just feel like there is a choice and it's overwhelming. But I feel like whatever the outcome is, you'll move on from this anyway, my lovely. So I'm sending you a lot of strength, positivity, love and light. Hi to everyone just joining, just pop your name and a question in the comments. Double tap that screen. Um, okay. Verona, will I move house? Will Verona move house? Will Verona move house? Will Verona move house? Okay, so you've got the page of wands, which is good news. So I feel, ooh, King of Pentacles and the moon. Wow, there's a bit of conflict in energy coming through here for you i feel like you will move house but i don't think it's going to be the house that you initially have your heart set on because there's something not working out here for you but there's good news coming with that page of wands there because i feel like there's something else in the background hidden kind of information hidden something that's going to come out that's going to be your home King of Pentacles is you feeling grounded, feeling this next move is going to be somewhere where you'll, you'll live and stay for a long time. So some things aren't going to work out in, in your favour, but it's a blessing in disguise because there's good something good coming which you haven't seen or know about yet. Ooh, exciting. Let me know about that situation. So yeah, you will move, but um, I don't think it'll be the first place you you think you're going to move to I feel like there's going to be something else for you that you you don't even know about yet but it's going to be amazing yay I really hope that helps you my lovely sending you lots of love light and positivity well, thank you very much for my gifts okay so we have somebody who's gifted 500 thank you so much who is this wow thank you so much Lunas Gra Grammy Okay, hold your comments, please, guys, while Luna Scrammy asks her question. What's your name and your question, please, Luna? What's your name and your question? Lynn, anything about my work or my husband and I? Okay, let's do your work first. What does Lynn need to know about her work? Ooh, okay. So you've got the Empress just woo, did a backflip. <laughs> Work, I feel, is something that you need um, in your life that's going to give you a reason. I feel work is really important. I feel like it's you're someone who needs to have something that you feel fulfilled doing. So that Empress there could be that you're either self-employed or you want to be um, doing something that's gonna bring you a lot of emotional fulfillment and I, I'm not sure you're getting that full emotional fulfillment right now so let's see what your focus is you work is fine there's something I feel like you're working towards maybe it's promotion maybe there's a new role or something that you're gonna get a lot of reason to celebrate this is recognition reward success absolutely correct yeah so there's something you're going to be doing in your work life that's going to give you this recognition reward a reason to celebrate this is successful energy 
got no worries about your work at all. Let's see what else we've got around your work. Ooh. Yeah, you're bored. You're bored. But there's something coming to you which is going to be emotionally fulfilling. Yeah, great. But you just need to take action. I feel like you're you're waiting on something to happen without actually taking any action yourself. What have we got here? Yeah, so you need to walk away or think about not walking away from your role to no role. I feel like there's a move going to happen here. Away from something that's not emotionally fulfilling in your work life towards something that is going to bring you this kind of excitement. Ace of Swords. I feel like you're going to go, oh my God, that's what I need to do. Yes, you're bored. Do you know what? I'm feeling your energy really strong because I'm kind of in a similar energy at the moment. I lost my job where I'm, I'm working now, but I'm still working for the same company. But the role I'm doing with the same company isn't fulfilling me. And I know I need to take this advice that you're getting, <laughs> that I need to get my CV out there, get myself out there to find something that's going to bring me emotional fulfillment in my role. Because when you're feeling emotionally fulfilled in your role, it's not going to feel like a burden. It's not going to feel like a chore getting up every morning and going, oh, God, I'm going to go to work today. Hey, my job. <laughs> you need to be looking now at your CV, updating your CV and thinking about what are my skills? What are my qualifications? What's going to make me feel excited about getting up in the morning? What's going to give me the butterflies in my belly instead of feeling like, oh, God, every day's Groundhog Day. And all you need to do is update your CV, okay? Get somebody in recruitment, either if you're in UK, I know about like the, the recruitment companies like Reed and you've got monster.com, you've got uh, Indeed, LinkedIn is an amazing place to go. Get someone who can look at your CV and help you to get that updated. Think about what your skills are, your skill sets, your experience and how you can enjoy and what kind of roles you will enjoy. Um, in a job role that's going to give you a reason to feel excited to get up in the morning for. I'm so taking that energy. <laughs> um, let's have a look at your energy between your husband and you then. What is the energy between Lynn and her husband? I feel like perhaps because you're unfulfilled in your work life at the moment, perhaps you're going home and you're putting that burden on your husband and it's perhaps causing a little bit of... Not friction, but it's just it's just ruffling the feathers of the energy, if that makes sense. And I just feel like your husband's even saying to you, for God's sake, Lynn, get a new job. <laughs> and you're like, oh, yeah, but I, I don't hate where I am. I just don't feel fulfilled where I am. That's kind of the energy I'm getting, for sure. And I totally get that. I don't hate my job, but I'm not fulfilled at all. So, yeah. Let's take each other's advice here. <laughs> Update our CVs and get, get applying for roles that you know are going to bring you um, that emotional fulfillment. Yay. Okay, let's get the energy between Lynn and her husband. He's pissed that I put up with it. Yeah, my husband's exactly the same. They take you for granted. Yeah, that's because I allow them to. <laughs> <clears throat> okay energy between well that's good that he's he's pissed that you you know you're allowing this to happen he's obviously very supportive okay. look at that the fool this is a new beginning. This is taking a leap of faith. This is stepping outside of your comfort zone. And this is going for it. A new start, a new beginning. Yes, he is. I, I can feel that. Look at that. You've even got the page of cups. And he's going to be behind you all of the way going, do you know what, Lynn? Go for it. But the, the easiest time and the best time to find a job role, whether it be in the company that you work for now or whether you move to a new company, the best time to find a job role is when you're in one. And don't put that pressure on yourself because that's what I've stopped doing is putting the, the pre taking the pressure off. And I just feel like you're going to you're going to transform and transition in all areas of your life. So in, in your, you know, your marriage, in your work life and just your mental health will improve. New chapter. There's some good news coming for you. 
Okay, there's lovely energy coming for you. But she says, going to take some advice and guidance from your message. Update that CV. Get yourself out there because there's a new chapter, a new cycle, a new beginning, a new opportunity that's awaiting you. And you, you've got, you've got a lot of support from your husband. A lot of support. And I get that too because my husband is exactly the same. Very supportive. So you're going to have a lot of choices. And sometimes a lot of choices can be emotionally overwhelming. So you're going to be thinking, oh, I like doing that, but I also like doing that. So you could, if you could combine those energies, that would be a perfect role. Um, but yeah, just, just put yourself out there. Okay, get yourself out there. Your husband is behind you every step of the way. I don't feel like there's any issues there with the two of you, if I'm honest. And you've got the Wheel of Fortune just come out again. And I've just shuffled the cards. This is a new chapter, new beginning. It's toxic where you are. It's making you feel drained. Move on from it. There is a new beginning and your husband's behind you every step of the way. Okay. Best time, as I said, to find a job is while you're in one. So good luck with that, Lynn. Thank you so much for all of your gifts as well. Really appreciate them. Okay. I am, I'm feeling excited for you. It's an exciting time. Okay, just a couple more readings then and then I do have to go. Gua, G-O-U-W-A, Gua, hope I'm saying that right. Gua, what's new coming in? Love it. What's new coming in? Ooh, well, oh. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to, oh, get off my screen. There we go. Gua, what's coming in new? What is coming in new to Gua? Mm. Queen of Cups, I'm feeling it's emotional fulfillment. Very soft, gentle energy. Very strong intuition. And I feel like it's coming from you walking away from something that doesn't emotionally fulfill you any longer. And you've got a choice to make here. So what's coming for you is a choice. There is a choice to be made. You're weighing up your options. You're thinking about moving away from something that no longer serves a purpose in your life towards something that's going to bring you a lot of emotional fulfillment. You're taking back your power, Goa. That Aries energy there with that emperor is you are taking initiative, taking action, taking back your power. So what's coming in new for you? Your power. Your control. You're putting yourself back in the driving seat. So you're walking away from this situation that you know when you get is not right for you. You're thinking about it. Or you've been thinking about it. You're weighing up your options here. And you're taking back your power. Go you. Go you. Well done. Amazing. Really good to see. And then... As a result of releasing that past energy, this new emotional fulfillment, this new love offer potentially is coming towards you. So I really hope this helps you. I hope it resonates and I hope you take this advice of releasing that energy, making that choice. No more weighing up your options. You need to move forward, take back your power because it's going to bring you this sense of new emotional fulfillment and potentially a new love offer. Ooh, and oh, at the, the base of the deck, Ooh, the lovers. Love is coming for you, but you've got to let go of that past energy first, my lovely, okay? So I hope that helps you. You're welcome, my lovely. Thank you for sharing your lovely energy. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you so much to everyone for your gifts. Really appreciate them. 
Thank you very much to everyone who has been here supporting my live this evening. Don't forget to follow me because I do go live on a regular basis. It's quite ad hoc. So if you haven't had a reading from me tonight, then if you're following me, you'll be notified when I go live. So maybe you'll have a chance next time. So thank you very much to everyone who's been here this evening. Sending you lots of love, light, positivity. Remember, take care of yourselves, look after yourselves, prioritise yourselves, love yourselves and enjoy the rest of the evening. Mwah. Lots of love.